I was a babe about half past three. My daddy said, kid, come here to me. If you've got what it takes to make things go, there's one thing you ought to know. Oh, it ain't what you do, it's the way that you do it. It ain't what you do, it's the way that you do it. It ain't what you do, it's the way that you do it. That's what gets results. It ain't what you wear, it's the way that you wear it. It ain't what you wear, it's the way that you wear it. It ain't what you wear, it's the way that you wear it. That's what gets results. You can try hard, don't mean a thing. Take it easy, it'll go with a swing. It ain't what you shove, it's the way that you shove it. Tame what you roll, it's the way that you roll it. Tame what you do, it's the way that you do it. That's what gets results. It was smart, I thought, to so soon find out. My legs were the things to care about. I used them well, I must confess. That's what I had them for, nothing less. Oh, it ain't what you use, it's the way that you use them. It ain't what you shift, it's the way that you shift it. it ain't what you lift, it's the way that you lift it. That's what gets results. If you're tired out and the day seems too long, it's your own fault, so remember this song. It ain't what you do, it's the way that you do it. It ain't what you hold, it's the way that you hold it. It ain't what you move, it's the way that you move it. That's what gets results. It ain't what you do, it's the way that you do it. Joan Rhodes knows how to throw that hefty young man over her shoulder. And he knows how to fall without hurting himself, which may well save me having a casualty on my hands. You know Joan is a strong woman. You've probably seen her on television. But Joan is able to perform her various feats of strength in the right way, enabling her to do the most amazing things with a minimum of effort and without accumulative strain. You have to lift and carry as part of your job. You should learn how to do it in exactly the same easy way. You railwomen, come in all shapes and sizes. And the things that you have to shift, roll, stack, carry, unload and load, are just as various. Right, now back to you. Yes, that's going back a bit, but there's a lesson in all this. From the very earliest days, your legs start taking the total weight of your body. They also give you balance. You are using them every day, and they are consequently better equipped for work than any other part of you. They have to be. Whatever you may be doing, or may have been doing, you have to rely on your legs for support. The rowing man or sculler knows that it is legs that drive the boat through the water. The weightlifter uses the same principle. It is legs that give the weight its initial impetus upwards. Our legs are strong. They're designed for lifting, carrying weight and balance. And yet, how many of us, when we wish to pick up anything from the floor, remember our legs? How much easier it is to do it, as we call it, kinetically? Feet are correctly placed for balance. You bend the knees to pick it up without bending the back. Let's examine these basic principles which should be applied to the handling of any type of article. It's really a matter of common sense. Use your legs. Flex the knees and keep the back straight to go down for the object. Thrust upwards with the legs to lift the object from the floor. It is the first six inches of any lift which offers the greatest strain. Follow this rule, whether you're lifting heavy or light articles. Tuck in the chin and raise the head. This automatically locks the spinal column, ensuring that your back remains straight and safe from strain. You then have to use your legs for the initial lift.
What you are carrying or lifting must be firmly held, otherwise it might slip from your grasp and drop on your foot. Or you might strain yourself trying to save it. The proper grip is the palmer grip. Palm first, fingers and thumb after. That means a firm, safe grip. And it gives you control with far less muscle effort than a fingers and thumb grip. It's important to realize that using the weight of your own body in moving things can save energy and effort. Tilting and lowering a 40 gallon drum of oil can be quite easy if it's done the right way. The whole weight of the body is used to tilt the drum by transferring your weight from your front foot to the back foot. Lower the drum by bending the knees, keeping the arms close to the body and the back straight. The cumulative strain of repeatedly doing jobs the wrong way is the cause of many casualties. Even light articles should be carried with the arms straight, chin in and with a straight back. And now follow through. The kinetic method of manual handling is designed to reduce muscular effort to a minimum by using the right muscles at the right time, allowing the whole body to move naturally and rhythmically, work can be carried out with very little strain. When an object has to be moved from one place to another, the front foot should point in the direction in which the movement has to take place. This results in a natural follow through. The rear foot automatically swings forward to maintain balance, carrying the whole body in the direction in which the object has to be moved. These two experts demonstrate admirably all the principles we've discussed. Foot position, thrust, grip and straight back, use of body weight and follow through. It's rhythmic. When more than one are working together, a leader should be appointed to set the rhythm. Hop. On a job like this, the team should be roughly the same height. Watch these experts carrying through a number of tasks. You'll see that they observe all the basic rules. Right grip, thrust with the legs, and straight back. Body weight to tilt the drum. Straight back and the weight taken by the legs as you lower it. A point to remember always is that you should never attempt to handle weights which are too great for you. Team up with someone else. Well, that's how work should be done and can be done. Whether you're handling constructional materials, goods in transit, stores, heavy spares, in fact, no matter what your department. If you use your body reasonably, whilst you may get tired in time, you won't harm yourself through strain.